There are many ways that Reality Capture can extend 3D GIS, providing comprehensive data sets to perform advanced analysis. At Telluride, one way they're using Reality Capture is to calculate snow volumes, modernizing workflows to save time and money. Telluride, like many ski resorts, uses snowmaking to supplement the natural snow, improving the reliability of snow cover. This is a 3D mesh of the Misty Maiden ski area near Mountain Village and the designated snowmaking areas. Snowmaking forces water and pressurized air through a snow gun, producing concentrated areas of snow to be redistributed. The goal is to have two feet of snowpack over the summer terrain. We worked with the team at Telluride to develop this custom application that calculates snow volume, so the snowmakers know where they are in the snowmaking process. The blue areas show where snow can be cut to fill in the red areas where more snow is needed. This analysis was conducted using two digital elevation models, one showing the winter output and the other showing the ideal snow surface of two feet snowpack. The analysis can be rerun, this time using a new surface that shows four feet snowpack. And now the red areas will require almost 6,000 cubic yards of snow to meet the four foot goal, which is available based on the calculation. By utilizing the drone imagery captured in the winter, the team at Telluride is able to ensure that snow is made in the right place at the right time with the right volume, maximizing efficiency and minimizing cost. But let's switch gears and leave Telluride, flying to the San Bernardino International Airport where they're also flying drones at their new UAS center. This view is quite the opposite of the mountains of Telluride, showing critical infrastructure. Here we can see miles of concrete taxiways and runways that need to be evaluated regularly for safety. Historically, this has been done in person, requiring hundreds of hours of on the ground survey work. But today, we can apply drones and artificial intelligence algorithms to expedite this process. These tools use AI and deep learning to identify pavement failures, quickly examining the runways and taxiways for cracks. Here we can see the output of the deep learning model, which identified cracking in between the slabs that spilled into the concrete. It also picked up on some early cracking, so the repair process can begin as soon as possible. By identifying these cracks in their early stages, using drone operations and AI tools, the cost of repair can be dramatically reduced and safety enhanced. Switching gears, let's travel to the Netherlands and look at another example of reality capture, this time exploring a new development in the town of Elmira. This is a 3D mesh of the area, created from hundreds of images collected by Caval 10. At three centimeters resolution, we can see incredible detail, including the sand dunes that the development is built on. The detail is exciting, but it's made even more powerful by using underlying GIS attributes to make it completely interactive. Clicking in the scene, for example, identifies the roads and parking spaces in the 3D mesh. Or we can quickly identify individual characteristics of buildings in the scene. We can also start to add in additional layers for information for more enhanced visualization. For example, adding in a living atlas layer from the Netherlands that shows traffic signs, or a 3D polygon to illustrate flood risk for sea level rise of two meters. Integrated 3D GIS combines meshes and features to quickly build a visually immersive experience so we can travel to places like Almira virtually. Our last example takes us to San Francisco where Esri partner Vexel created a beautiful 3D mesh of the city. With 3D GIS, a snapshot of reality is at our fingertips, giving us the opportunity to explore entire cities from anywhere in the world. This mesh has been brought in to ArcGIS Urban, one of our geo-enabled systems, to provide context for urban planning. ArcGIS Urban streamlines the development review process by providing a shared view of activity across the city. Here we can see hundreds of projects that are currently active, overlaid on top of the mesh as a contextual base map. A major construction project that's currently underway is at 10 South Van Ness Avenue. Using ArcGIS Urban, we can visualize the proposed development in the context of the city and use spatial analysis tools to evaluate it. 
the latest release of ArcGIS Urban comes with a new shadow analysis tool. So we can quickly calculate shadow duration for anywhere in the city. Hovering over the analysis results, we can see the total time each individual area is in shadow. And as powerful as this visualization is, we can take it even further and get a view of the city from inside a new condo. This is now an immersive experience, creating an extended reality using the 3D mesh. Here, we can see the Transamerica Pyramid. And looking out the window, we can see Leavenworth Street. This is what reality looks like from inside a building that only exists in augmented reality. We can quickly swap out San Francisco for a 3D mesh of Denver, created by our partner Aerometrics. So we can imagine virtual cities all over the world. Whether you're a city planner, an architect, or even a movie studio, ArcGIS-generated 3D meshes create immersive virtual experiences.